Oh, I got a snap. I got a snap. What? He wrote, I already messed up. I don't want to again. I don't want her getting hurt. That's a little late for that. I don't know how now he could do anything more. So then say, listen, mother <laughs> Here's what you're gonna do. This is the link to the Zoom. Get in it or get lost. I like sassy Cammy. <laughs> That's how we handle it. I'm gonna say Kirsten is a strong woman. I'm sure she can handle it. Oh. He wrote back, he said, I know she is. That's part of what attracts me to her. Okay, what's the Zoom ID? Send it. Send it. So I guess any any moment, maybe he'll be joining us. You guys ready? No. No, but yes. I just got a weird feeling that it's Randy. The more I think about it, the more I think you could be right. Maybe he wanted to like keep you in this sort of holding pattern with Alex so that you wouldn't go meet some other guy because he was hoping that maybe he could recover and get back with you. I'm gonna be very, very, very mad. Like, unbelievably mad. Oh God. I'm just, I'm, I... Oh, oh, hello. Oh, was that, uh, it says A. They wrote in the chat, I can hear you. And I can see you too, okay. I don't really understand why you're hiding. It's like, what, what's what's the point of hiding at this point? I deserve to know who I was talking to, I really do. Oh, hi. Hi. Uh, Kirsten, do you know this gentleman? Yeah, that's Justin. We've been acquaintances for many years. He's actually one of Tad's friends. Huh. After Randy and I split, he tried to hit on me. I turned him down. Wow, okay, so you do know this guy. Have you known he liked you? Just when he asked me out. Before that, I thought he hated me. Before when we were hanging out, things weren't always the greatest between us. And I kind of thought that I can get her to see that it's been five years now, we're not the same people anymore. Things have changed. What was so bad back then? We had a really tight knit group of friends at the time where we did everything with each other every single day. But uh, Tad and I ended in a fight and they pretty much all blamed me. And Justin didn't have your back in the situation. No, none of the guys in the entire group did. What I saw was my friend was being hurt and didn't really see things from her point of view. Right. And I just kind of took his side and his word for it. And... Well, you were his friend. Right. It's been, you know, many years later and we're both different people now. We, you know, have grown up, matured, and I I've always kind of had a soft spot for her. Okay, so you, you, you shot your shot and she said, no thanks, or what'd you say, Kirsten? I, I just said no based on our history. I don't want to pursue a relationship with you. Okay, she said no. Why make a fake profile to talk to her? And like, what did you see as the potential for doing that? The thing to me was that she was still using like our past from five years ago against me currently. Well, but she also just might not want to go on a date with you. Maybe she's not attracted to you. Right. It was just the reason that was given to me. I thought right. that if we were able to actually get to know each other on a personal level, maybe then there would be that opportunity. I guess I don't know how a lie could turn into something good. Cause I don't do well with people who lie to me. And that's kind of just what this all feels like to me is a big setup lie. On one hand, I kind of get where you're coming from in a sense, but it's almost like wishful thinking. Like if you were going to come out and say like, hey, you know, just to let you know, this is not who I really am. That doesn't change the fact that before you confessed, you deceived Kirsten and were asking her for photos of herself. That's not consensual for Kirsten. Right. It definitely doesn't make me feel very good.
I had this guilty conscience about it. I deleted the pictures and everything. I didn't earn these in a trustful way. I apologize for betraying your trust. And I kind of thought that maybe we'd be able to get over the history that we had and be able to start fresh. I know forgiveness isn't, you know, easy to come by it, but the feelings that you felt and the relationship that you built with the profile I had made was all me. It's good to hear that, but there isn't a future with us in any romantic setting. I don't think I can trust. That's understandable. We've never been two hopeless hook up. An identical twin. <gasps> Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. <gasps> That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Come on. 